Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Janice. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of two of my favorite beauty subscriptions. They are monthly subscriptions. First one's gonna be BoxyCharm Base Box and the Ipsy. Pick it up here. <laughs> Glam Bag Plus. So if you would like to see what I have in these boxes, just keep on watching. Well, thank you for staying tuned. I really appreciate your time. On my channel, I do mostly unboxings. I'm gonna to try to change it up somewhat this year. I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna do more makeup looks, some get ready with me. I probably will do a little cooking whenever I Whenever I think of it, I keep forgetting to do the cooking. Also some pet tips and tricks of keeping them beautiful. And I do show off my pets here and there. So if that interests you and you're not already, please subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so YouTube will notify you when my next video is up. And like this video, that helps me out a lot. And also comment, what do you think of the two boxes? Um, at the end, I'll hopefully remind you to comment and I'll ask you a question, hopefully, if I remember. Oh yes, and also share this video. Boxy Charm is a beauty subscription. They have a base box, which includes five full-size products their mixture of makeup and skincare. That's $25. And here we go. There's the inside. And they always have a little card in there and they have a theme for each month. And this is January 2020. This month's theme <laughs> is breaking the ice. So, and on the back it tells you products you got and what their value is. First thing I'm pulling out is something by Skin & Co. It's a polishing micro exfoliating truffle base gamage. And it is valued at $28. As you see it is a full size. And the next thing I'm pulling out is by Avant and it is Sometimes my camera doesn't want to focus on the product. It always wants my face. Avant Skin Care 8R Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask. So that's really nice. I do love sleeping masks. Basically what a sleeping mask is, is a night cream. I notice these days they've just kind of changed the name of it. Sound fancy. And it is valued at $28. Okay, and next I have a lippy by Queen Studio. Queen Studio. It's a matte liquid lip satin. It is a nice color. It's a nude. The value of this is $17. I got um, a concealer from Pretty Vulgar. They've been adding complexion products, which is really nice. And this is now it's a little dark but not too bad I do like a real light but I, I can use it for concealing all right did I tell you how much that was that is um, pretty vulgar undercover concealer it is a lightweight gel serum concealer okay is valued at $25 Okay, now th they did give us a choice this month, and my I did pick this. It's by Ace Beauté, and it's an eyeshadow palette. And it's in the Village Dawn. See, they had this, and then they had another color. They had I believe it was Village Sunset, and then 
an eye cream. Well, I have oodles and oodles and oodles of eye cream, so personally I didn't need them, but it was a nice one. But I have oodles of eye palettes too because I get a lot of subscriptions, but I love eye palettes. What can I say? I really love the color of this one, and I am wearing this today. It's really pretty packaging. It's a nice size. It does have a mirror. Okay. And then the color, let's flip this back. Beautiful color, really different. It has yellows, golds, oranges, um, blues, navies, greens, and kind of a burgundy and a brown. It's a nice variety. And I went real simple with my eye today. Usually I don't go this simple. I just put the burgundy and a little bit of gold on it. And that is it. I got ready fast because it's getting late and I wanted to get this film so I can upload it for you. So I really like this. Is it the best formula? And I've used it a couple times. I've had better. Okay. You have to build it up. It's nice. I say it's average. But I haven't used every color. I use the Gleam, which is what I use today. And I, yeah, it... I had a hard time building that up. This this is a creamy shimmer. It's this one here. It's burgundy. And, well, it shows up nice on my hand. I guess I just, I used it with a brush. I probably should have used it with a wet brush or my finger, and I didn't. I didn't realize it was so metallic-y. I did it upstairs, and lights aren't as bright up there as they are down here. Hmm. So it's probably use your ear, okay? Now the rest of it, I did use this Daybreak Yellow, and that's nice. And I use, in the corner, it's called Sun. Go ahead and swatch that for you. It's pretty. It's a light, light gold. So it might not show up real well to you, but it's, it's a light pastel gold. Really different eye. I might have something like that, I don't know, but it, not to my knowledge. And, um, I used cactus the other day, the green. Let me see. I'm not going to swatch them all. The green right there. This cactus. I love greens. Love, love. And this, oh, this is nice. I mean, that's only one swatch. I probably have to build that up because it's a little streaky, but it is a matte. But you can build these up. Mostly, I'm, I'm happy with this palette. I'm gonna go to the next box. And this is by Ipsy. Big box, right? Feels empty. Very, very, very light. I know what's in here. So, yeah, I'll just plug in here. Here's the box. A lot like the box of charm, just that they put it in a huge box. And there it is. Not very many products. It has what it's supposed to have. It's just their small products. There's a little difference in this particular box. They always include a cosmetic bag, which I love. This is really cute. It looks like marble. It's a vinyl. And this is like a silver. And then it kind of like a wristlet. And the inside is really pretty. It's like a pink. It's made very nice. So these are nice. They also give you a information card. And they also have a theme. And their theme is Clean Slate. And you open it up. And again, this also tells you about the products. And it does give you the value on these also. Okay. Now, you do get to choose an item on this one too, a choice, so that you do get to choose. You have actually quite a few, more than BoxyCharm. So that I like. And this month I chose an eye palette by Huda. They had other colors, I can't remember what they were, but I chose this because I don't have these colors. These are Ruby Exception. Ruby Obsessions. And I 
has the mirror. And here are the colors. Very, very pretty. I forgot. I could have wore these eggs. I want to do burgundy. Hmm. Oh well. I forgot. These are gorgeous. Now I do like Huda eyeshadows a lot. They're very nice. Let's see if I can do just a couple swatches. There's the burgundy. A lot like the other one. Let's put next to it. See the difference. This one here. It's a little more red with this that tinge of orange. Mm, the goldy cast, I guess, not really orange. They're both beautiful, about the same type of pigment actually. Actually, the hood is a little better. Who am I kidding? <laughs> Let's see my matte here. Let's try the burgundy matte. Right here. And I see what the matte's like. It should be nice. Okay, that's it right in the middle of my hand. Look here. So, uh, they're nice. I haven't used this one yet, so I can't really report on it. But I will, and I'll get back to you. Hopefully I remember. I try to. I try to make myself a schedule so I'll remember to do things so you, so you guys can come back and say, oh, she said she was going to report in this. She forgot. I'm going to really try hard to do that. Okay, Huda Beauty Obsessions Palette in Ruby. And this is valued at $27. Okay, the next thing, they count this as one. There are two highlighters. Okay. I thought, oh my gosh. They doubled me by mistake. Then I realized, oh no, I see it in the sneak peeks that they had two of the same brand, but two different colors. Now, this particular subscription, actually both, they give you a beauty quiz to fill out and you tell them what you like, what you don't like, what your favorite is, what you, you know, on like a scale. <clears throat> and I have highlighters really low because I have mature skin and I don't really need that many highlighters. But it's okay. I mean, I like them. I just wish my face was smoother. I haven't tried these. This is called by Space Case. This is a very light color. And it's really, really creamy. It's like a cream. Really nice. So if you can see that, I hope you can. And that one is in the color. Let me see if I can see what color it is. I'm gonna hear the furnace. I'm in the basement. It's in color 1C. I don't know what that means, but that's the color. Same from space 1C. Okay. And it says Glow to new heights with this duo of shimmery highlighters. The cream to powder texture is buttery and soft and blends like a breeze with your fingers or makeup brush. Plus, it's totally cruelty free and vegan. So you can get your glow on in good conscience. And it is valued at $18 for the pair. Now the other one is this one. I'll show you this one real quick. And this is in the color um, 1B. <laughs> uh, very original, huh? <laughs> and that's a little more of a champagne color. So that's pretty, our rosy champagne. That's pretty. I'm not going to swatch that one just because. I already swatched the other one, and like I said, I get too many, so I may put this in a giveaway. Okay, the next is an eye cream, just what I need. Maybe you need it. It's by Perlise. It's Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Adore Serum. It is valued at... Is that right? 
$58. Really small tube. I know you don't need much, but I don't know. It seems rather small to me. I've gotten this size in the regular glam bag, which this thing is a lipstick and it is by Nature's Cartel. It's a cute box. Never heard of this brand. And it is in the color 90s Nostalgia. What you doing, huh? Are you talking to Mama? Hazel's over there watching me in the big red chair. <laughs> so here is the outer packaging. It's a bullet lipstick and here is the color. I am not going to swatch this. Personally, I have tons and tons of this color. As you've seen before in the other box, I got a liquid lipstick very similar to this color. It's a beautiful color. Kind of a mauve nude. But I'm particular with my bullets. I don't like that shape, personally. Get the flat shape. I like, I like them a little more, I don't know, you know, pointed and I just have this thing with that shape, and I don't need it. Okay. Let's see, why you have getting subscription boxes to share with you guys? That's why. So that's that, and that is valued at fifteen dollars. Okay, and then. One more item. I got another lip, no, eyeliner, not sorry. I got a Sugar Cosmetics Wingman Waterproof Eyeliner in black. It is valued at $11.99. Now, if you watch my glam bag unboxing, Ipsy Glam Bag, I got a liquid eyeliner in that one. And I will it either at the end credits or up in here in the cards and if you want to watch it if you haven't watched it you can see what I got in that so that is the five items that we got and this particular box is $25 a month camera cut me off I exceeded the 30 minute cutoff after 30 minutes it turns itself off it's a safety feature overheating feature I believe I left off which one I thought won the battle of the boxes, and which one I liked better. Which one did I like better? Which one did you like better? We all have our opinions. I liked them okay, but to be honest with you, I wasn't really personally happy with either one. I've gotten better products from each each company so I have to say someone lost it would be Ipsy and they have been running a close second to BoxyCharm lately part for the last few months now and they used to be my very favorite but BoxyCharm is leaps and bounds ahead of them but Boxy didn't do that great. For one thing, I tell you why they didn't do great for me. Now, these products are wonderful and someone will love them. I do not use exfoliations anymore. My skin's aging and I don't want to damage what delicate skin I have. So I don't do that anymore. I, I'll use the AHA serums or I, I'll use my retinol serum, serum and I do have a prescription. Um, I don't know the name of it, it's got the T. It's, um, right now, it's a Retina A, but it's, it's a prescription. I use that occasionally. That, that's harsh. That burns my face. Also, well, I do like this. I do like the sleeping mask. I'm happy with that. As far as the, the eye palette, no, I've had this brand before and wasn't that impressed. 
it's nice but it's mediocre just saying and I absolutely do not need nor want another lippy I just don't need it and the pretty vulgar okay it's nice it's nice that they're giving us this but they got the color wrong way wrong and especially when I filled out what color I wanted they didn't pay no attention in fact they missed on my premium also it just seems like both boxes aren't really for aging skin if you know what I mean this one not too bad the other one the premium was really bad it was two products for acne I never had acne, and if I did have acne, that'd be much younger. At least 69 years old, you don't get those problems anymore. You know, I wish sometimes, but no. But I'm, I'm not happy with BoxyCharm, and I'm not really happy with Ipsy this month. They both have done better, and they can do better. So I'm on the fence of how long I'm gonna keep these subscriptions, I, I'll keep BoxyCharm no matter what. Now, Ipsy, I'm giving one more month on the the um, Plus. They don't hit it out of the park. I'm just gonna stay with the smaller bag, which I've always liked, because it's deluxe, it's deluxe samples, and it's very inexpensive. And you get a little makeup bag, I like that. <laughs> but, okay, I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And just remember to subscribe if you haven't, and hit the notification bell, like this video, and also comment what you think. Think I'm just being too picky? <laughs> uh, I've been with them a few years, like both companies over three years, so, you know, they got me spoiled. That's my puppy, she's playing now. She's telling me, Mom, get off the camera. <laughs> All right, the last thing I want to remind you, too, after you comment, please go ahead and share this video. I am still trying to grow my channel. So, with that being said, I'll bid you all farewell, and we'll see you real soon. Bye. <laughs>